Hey guys, welcome back to another adventure with VP. I hope y'all are doing okay. A lot of places in this country right now with everything that we got going on under lockdown or under stay at home orders. It's crazy. Shout out to all y'all people that are essential. The frontline people, especially that are out here basically waging war, right? I mean, this is crazy times that we're living in. Um, thank you to all of you doctors, nurses, all of you in the medical field that are out there working crazy amount of hours. Appreciate you so much. Today, I wanted to talk about pins. You know, if you look at some of my previous videos, I love pins. If you see in the back, you can see some of my pins. So I wanted to take you around my family's collection today and see exactly what we have, what we like, and uh, get your comments below to see. So the first board here is the very first board that we ever bought. It's a nice hinged case, has glass on it. I'm gonna lift it real quick. Don't worry, it was just a gift card. <laughs> but as you see, it has a hinge so you can open it up real easily. Um, has magnets to keep it closed. So this is where my wife and I put a lot of our collections that we're working on or have completed uh, that we don't want to show off on our bags when we go to the parks because as annual pass holders living in Orlando, very fortunate enough to go very frequently and we know that we're blessed to be able to do so. And so we do share a lot of our stuff. Like if you look at this one here, this is our Star Wars themed board. Shout out to Go Pin Pro. They make these pin folio books that are absolutely amazing. They're great to display your pins, hold them to trade. But I got some great ones here. May the fourth be with you, Baby Yoda. My daughter gave me that one there in the top right during Christmas. Leia and Han, if y'all don't know, those two right there were from a, those are limited from a mystery box. Each one is limited to 250. Got both of those out of the same box. You can see the video uh, back on my playlist. Another May the 4th be with you from last year. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker opening night. This board here have these I don't know if you call them jumbo castles, but you know if you look at my hand, they're pretty big. There's four of them. The drawbridge is open, it's either slide up or come down. Uh, this one is the one we use when we go to Magic Kingdom for the day, for example. Star Wars, as you can imagine, when we go to Hollywood Studios, we use that and we put that in our bag and I'll show you what that bag looks like because that bag has most of my wife's really nice pins on it from the movie Up. Show you a little closer in this here. Sorry, I apologize about the glare. But we have the Marvel, which there's not a whole lot of Marvel right now, so I'm looking forward to a lot more coming out. We're missing a couple out of this cookie set. This was from Mickey's Very Merry Christmas. Um, we were fortunate enough to open boxes and if you look at our one of my other videos you'll see when we opened Maria that was pretty awesome of course you got to have Mickey and Minnie some of the some of these pins like this one here is a cast member exclusive this is back when Everest first opened my wife actually worked at the park back then and that was pretty cool pass holder exclusive from new Mickey and Minnie runaway railway and this one, very nice. This is from opening day. That was a hectic, crazy day. This is one of our newest pins. Disney's Riviera Resort. Disney Vacation Club pin. I did complete the Seven Dwarfs Hidden Mickey set not that long ago. All of those were done via trades with cast members, so that was awesome. Now this is my Star Wars board. This one is a cork board. The other board's not a cork board, it's padded. Um, but this one here, as you see, 
is actually customized. My wife made this for me uh, for Valentine's Day. Mara's very creative. You see that she did the colors I like um, on this. She drew out the stencil, painted it. So very nice. This looks kind of bare because as I showed you before, a lot of my nice Star Wars pins are the ones that I show off when we go to the parks. We'll get a closer look here. These two up here are the 20th anniversary pin trading limited edition uh, monthly releases. So these, this one here, is actually Mickey Mouse. And this one, as you can imagine, is Minnie Mouse. These will actually, I'm not going to take them down yet. I'm just going to kind of leave them. This is actually the card backing, how it looks, how what it comes on. These ones, as you see, are $17.99 a piece. Very nice pin. They actually go together to make a full circle. So once I have all of them, I'm going to go ahead and make a nice display for that. I do have a Infinity Gauntlet. You saw a different version earlier. And, you know, it's something that I, I do have a lot of Thanos stuff. Definitely not an evil guy. But it's been kind of a funny thing with my kids and I'm, my sons, they call me Poppy Thanos. And so they give me a lot of different Thanos things and I kind of embrace that. Like when I go to the park, half the time I have a big Funko Pop Thanos backpack. I get a ton of compliments on it. So it's just fun. This is a set that my wife is working on. As you see, we got seven of them and she's been arranging them so that it reads is kind of like a comic. fun little we're missing a couple more we look to be getting those uh, the parks before they closed we're out of stock on a lot of them so there you have it for my wife's and I main part of our collection I'll show you our pin book that we take to the parks as well as one of the other pin folio uh, pages like this is our red one that has Star Wars if we want to go to Hollywood Studios this is blue um, with the castles and the different shields for the princesses for when we go to Magic Kingdom. And if you don't know, this one here is a pin on pin, Mickey Security. This is another cast member exclusive. Same with this Mickey one here. And actually, all of these castles are too. And so now we're moving on to my daughter's collection. She has some on a lanyard. OG in the house. This thing's super old. So this is her frozen lanyard. We're going to come to the side and look at it from a little angle here. We got a bunch of different Olafs. I don't think she likes Olaf, huh, guys? I mean, I don't even remember this guy. Look at that one. Um, she has a friend's. And then we go to her pin board. So this she normally has hanging up on her wall.
And this monstrosity, give you some scale here. This is one of my son's boards. This is actually his and his girlfriend's together. Half of it's hers, half of it's his. But we love Star Wars, no exception to this. So check that out. This is also, as you can tell, is custom made by my wife for him. Very similar to how mine was done. So as you heard me mention earlier, this is what a pinfolio looks like. This is a bag, very nice. As you see on the back, pinfolio, gopinfolio.com, US patent pending. This thing's dope. Has backpack straps, it has handles if you wanna hold it like that. And then this is a window. You saw the other boards that I showed you earlier. This is my son's. You can actually take this out and put a different one in, which is why you saw on mine, I showed you that I had a blue one, a red one, and then I'll show you what the last one is coming up. But it's a way for you to display some of the pins you have so they have this separated into her half on the bottom, his half on top. Again, Kylo Ren, First Order, Bell, some Marvel. I mean, do you, any question of what his favorite characters are? Pretty prominent there, right? So this is his. Well, he just recently got this set. And as you see there, it's limited edition in 1900. Very nice, opens up. You have the Quest of Your book, the Manticore Tavern. You have the van and you have the staff. Very cool set. Like I said, go check that, that movie out. This is his newest pin. It's also his favorite at the moment. And now you see why. This is a jumbo Kylo Ren with the lightsaber and his ship. Very nice. Limited edition of 1000. 
And now I'll show you my pin folio, the one that my wife and I carry around with us. And here we have my wife's and mine pin folio bag. This is the pin folio pro. And as I mentioned before, the red that had star Wars. So that's, that's the foam board that we put in to go to Hollywood studios. We have the blue one with the castles and stuff so that we could go to show that one off when we go to magic kingdom. And this one, as you can see is full of up. We love up. Uh, we used to have a dog several years ago. Uh, he passed away and we actually named him Doug. He wasn't a golden retriever. He was actually a bulldog, but we loved the movie so much that we named him Doug after the movie. And as you see, we're working on some of the collection. I mean, we have this nice limited edition set here. I believe these are classified as mini jumbo pins. Um, these balloons for the 10 year anniversary. Uh, these are the ones that we're working on. I'm working on right now to finish collecting for her. She currently has four of the eight. So we'll see. Time will tell on that one because those prices fluctuate uh, when it comes to buying those. So we swap this out and depending on what park we go to. And then inside we have our traders. And this bag is a, a little heavy. So let's see what we have in this one. real quick this is my other son's bag and it's kind of hard let me see if I'll put it on the side these are all the different countries from Epcot it's a nice set that he was able to collect there he has Roger Rabbit he has some of the first order uh, pins that we talked about earlier that come from the mystery box as you can tell we're all very into Star Wars. DVC, Disney Vacation Club. We love the heat. Let's see what traders he has. I showed you my one son's board. Well, Here's the last one. Colors are pretty dope. He's got a nice jumbo pin here. Rebel against the order. And if you can translate, maybe you know what that says. I'll give you a hint. Starts with a J. Second one starts with a T and the last one starts with an R. And you saw another pin, not like this one, but kind of plain in a sense like this. Comment down below if you know what that is. There was a gold one earlier that you saw that looked like it had like a white line through it. So look at what we have here. We have the Disney Animators Collection mystery pin box there are six of them in this set as you can see we have ariel pocahontas tiana cinderella Belle, moana but those are mystery how do you know that <laughs> don't tell the people that uh, okay well it's a surprise so series one these are super hard to come by we were fortunate enough to snag a couple or a few off of shop disney and we got it the what the day or two before series two came out the day before the day before so those are on the way so come back to check out series two 
of the animators collection so without further ado let's bust into this these are $9.99 per box you get one pin per box which one are you hoping to get um, I'm hoping to get either Moana because you know we don't know which one she is and Belle but we don't know which one she is either and Pocahontas and Tiana but I wouldn't mind any, actually, because I love kids, and I'm not into princesses, but this is perfect for me. All right, well, let's bust in and see what we get. Okay. Let's see. I'm excited about these. Are you going to open it? <laughs> there we go. Oh, hey. she's so cute. Look at her. These are big pins. And it's really, the enamel in it is really nice and thick. Well, it's Look. textured. It's, yes. Look at it from the side. Look, that's... That's a beautiful pin. Yep, excuse my nails two double pin back that's very nice yeah it is very very nice i've pin. seen these online and she's told me she's wanted these and i was like eh okay but seeing them in person i want the whole set now they're nice they are really nice and and it's a kid like i don't know i'm into kids wow that's a nice pin well let me put this one here. Oh, look at all the air in that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Uh-huh. Carl, ahead. watch, watch, See watch. what happens. Watch. Oh. Oh, yay! Pocahontas. That's one of the ones I wanted. She's beautiful. And again, has that raised enamel. Very textured. It's a heavy pin. It is such a beautiful pin. I love them. All right. Last but not least, are we going to get a mystery one? Or are we going to get one of the revealed ones? Oh, ah. we got a duplicate. <laughs> we got Pocahontas again. Hey, check us out on the pin boards. You know, Facebook, pin trading, we're in some of those groups. Be on the lookout because we're going to try to trade to get the rest of the set. So thanks for watching another episode of Adventures with VP. Come back, subscribe, like, tell all your friends, share it on your Facebook, share it everywhere, your Instagram, shout it out. Let's go. Come back again for another adventure next time.